Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. From the house of the Lord, we bless you. Our reading for today is found in the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verses 21 to 23. The twelve gates were twelve pearls, each gate made of a single pearl. The great street of the city was of gold, as pure as transparent glass. I did not see a temple in the city because the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are its temple. The city does not need the sun or the moon to shine on it, for the glory of God gives its light, and the Lamb is its lamp. The Twelve Gates in Heaven is the title of this sermon. According to the book of Revelation in the Christian Bible, the Twelve Gates of Heaven are the passageways through which believers in Christ may enter in heaven and live with God forever after death. The Twelve Gates surround the Holy City and are in groups of three outside. The northern, southern, eastern, and western portions of heaven. The Bible describes the twelve gates of heaven as being made of pearls. Each individual gate is made of one single enormous pearl. Each gate has the name of one of the twelve tribes of Israel. The twelve tribes of Israel were named after the sons of Jacob. Not everyone who dies will be allowed to enter into the city of heaven through the gates of pearls. Only believers who have trusted and surrendered their life to the Lord Jesus Christ will be permitted to enter heaven according to scripture. Evil is refused the right to enter through the heavenly gates. The Bible condemns the following to a second death of eternal burning in the lake of sulfur. The cowards, people who engage in corruption, unbelievers, murderers, those who engage in immoral activities, those who practice witchcraft, idol worshipers, and liars. Revelation chapter 21 and verse 8. Anyone who has not trusted in the Lord Jesus Christ and hath not trusted in his perfect sacrifice on the cross, must repent and believe. Then and only then will his name be written in the book of life. Anyone whose name was not found written in the book of life was thrown into the lake of fire. Revelation chapter 20 and verse 15. The Bible states the heavenly gates are guarded to prevent evil from entering into the city of heaven. Each of the gates is protected by an angel. Revelation chapter 21 and verse 12. According to the Gospel of Luke in the Bible, angels carry an individual to heaven at the time of death. Believers do not walk into heaven. Believers do not fly into heaven. God provides an angel to carry you. What a privilege. What a blessing. The gates of heaven through which an individual may gain entrance never closes. Because night no longer exists in the blessed place. The sun and the moon are not needed in heaven because God and the Lamb are the light. Believers who gain entrance into heaven spend eternity in paradise. Contrast to that, unbelievers will spend eternity in hell. When Jesus came into this world, he spoke about a pearl of great value. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 13, verses 45 and 46. Christ came to the earth as a merchantman. He saw man in sin. He took man's sin and bore it on his own body. Our sin was an intrusion upon him. It was that foreign man. Christ 
was bruised for our transgressions, was wounded for our iniquities, and by his wounds we are healed. Isaiah 53 and verse 5. Christ sold all that he had in order that he might gain the church. Salvation is a gift. The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. Christ, the merchantman, left his heavenly home and came to this earth to find a pearl of great value. He found lost sinners and died for them by shedding his precious blood. He sold all that he had to purchase us and redeem us to God. The pearl represents the church. The pearl is not a stone like a diamond. It is formed by a living organism. A grain of sand intrudes itself into a shell of a small creature. It hurts and harms it. The response of the organism is to send out a secretion that coats over it. That fluid builds up until a pearl is formed. The small creature in the shell suffers and goes through a rough process, but at the end, it is transformed into a fine pearl. This parable shows us how valuable and important we are to God. This merchantman, meaning Jesus, came from afar, gave up his own life, shed his own blood to purchase the valuable pearl, meaning the church. The end of all things is near. Therefore, be alert and of sober mind so that you can pray. The words of Peter, the Apostle Peter, 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 7. My friend, are you prepared to meet your Maker? Amos chapter 4 and verse 12. The Bible says it is a dreadful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 31. Time is running out. There are many doors, many gates in this world that are being opened by millions of people. Doors that lead only to destruction. Nothing can be compared to the heavenly doors of eternity. Simon Peter answered the Lord and said, To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and to know that you are the Holy One of God. Gospel of John, chapter 6, verse 68 and 69. If you are not in Christ, you are not in the will of God, you are not in the plan of God, and you are not in the purpose of God. You are lost. You have time to make a decision. The doors of the pearls is a reminder to the believer that the Son of God shed His precious blood for him. May the name of the Lord be praised now and forevermore. Amen.